Mark Crossfield here with Golf Online. We're talking Strix and AD333 golf balls. Just how good is the Strixon AD333 golf ball for golfers looking for a ball that's going to serve some off the tee, into greens and around greens, while at the same time not hurting their pockets? So I think where Strixon really comes into the marketplace is with its price point, isn't it? And that price point is one that's going to appeal to a lot of golfers. Now as I put this ball through different tests, and there's more videos coming showing you the different tests as I hit with this ball. You're going to notice that the differences are small. And there's certain shots where it won't make any difference at all. So if you take a chip shot here, for example, strips an AD333, that's 900 revs on a slightly duffy strike. That's a better strike, spinning at... 1,745 revs. Now I've got a Pro V1 here, tight list. Pretty spinny contact, 1,275. Bit of dampness on the golf balls. There is sand in this green as well, getting caught. You can see it actually getting caught in the grooves a little bit as well. All these variables are gonna affect how that ball performs. So one of the biggest things you're gonna notice is that you offer the biggest variable, which then makes choosing balls, I think, one of this kind of minefield for players, which is why market and play such a big trip. Always trying to persuade golfers that their ball is the best, because it's very hard for us to actually measure which one is the best or not, when it comes down to such fine margins. One of the biggest misconceptions with golf balls is thinking that one goes loads further than another off the tee. When it comes to these kind of brands of balls, so in these price brackets, made from these materials, the differences off the tees are next to nothing. Five yards, next to nothing. Where I start seeing the biggest difference with golf balls is when it comes to that kind of nine iron in shot. And a Strix and AD333 compared to your premium ball is gonna lose a little bit of spin. So in the odd situation where you need a lot of stop, you might not benefit from this ball, but we're talking situation based. When a ball is landing at a certain angle, so the descent angle is at a certain point, that's gonna override what spin can do, certainly if it's too flat or too high. So the dropping of the ball, so the land and drop ideas, is not always just built around spin. And things like off the putter face will make people certainly feel a certain way about a ball. And I think it'll severely influence what they think it can do into the green and off the tee. But actually when you come to measure these balls, one of the biggest things that's standing out for me is how price really is a key factor. Strixon AD333 is probably one of the best balls out there at its price point. Definitely one you should give a go. Do you use this ball or not? Post comments down below. Love to hear.